Welcome back to the 37th episode of a close combat longest stand playthrough with the allies in the gang campaign here on elite difficulty and this time we are defending in bio I believe it is uh, against this I don't even know what I'm attacking with this <laughs> why what one us topping and two heavy machine guns just they're gonna take the city with that okay uh, so yeah this can be interesting, I guess. Uh, we don't need this Piat team for whatever reason we have at us. We're gonna move that. We put a Vickers team in here. Actually, let's just get the brand team replaced. They had an injured guy in it. And, oh, we've lost the Sherman. Oh, well, these things happen. Uh, we've lost more than one by now, that's for sure. And I guess I just squeeze in a platoon HQ instead then. Like this. Should be fine. Um, yeah. Let's go. Oh, I should have checked the enemy. Maybe they could have, say, you know, come in with something else. But it, if it only shows three on the list, I think that's just that's all they can do. Honestly, we just all in the tank, so there's not going to be much of an episode. I'm just going straight to fucking let's kill them. Let's push in and kill them. This is just a remarkably. Uh, non-threatening nuisance we're dealing with right now. Like, remarkably easy nuisance to deal with. Don't even understand why, why this is coming in like this. But okay, why not? Easy PC will die really quickly. Let's get to it to get this. Uh, I mean, just set up all this stuff, but you know, better just set up the infantry because I might be better off doing it, so it's whatever. Let's move this Sherman down here, and didn't I have one more Sherman? Oh yeah, hidden in the tree over there. Put it on the fender so it turns the right way, and then just drive up there, and we're just gonna... The thing is, they could hide so deep inside a building that we needed to, uh, the infantry to clean them up, uh, but... Uh, really, the tanks should... well... If the tanks get to fight the enemy, uh, goodbye enemy, they have no anti-tank capabilities or anything. Which I might have been able to edit them to have, but then if I gave them like a Panzer Shrek team or something, that would just mean they would be much easier for my infantry to kill, which they already are. So it's like the fuck either way. I think it's it's whatever. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, oh, we have one more brain group to set up. Okay. Oh, well, that's done. Let's begin. I think we can just we can just rush and take the victor locations, right? And then it's just GG, what are we gonna do? Let's do that. Enjoy your stay at the hotel, because it ain't gonna last. Area secured. There, this can just hold here, it's fine, cover down the streets like that. Oh yeah, I was wondering when that guy was gonna turn. To Crepon. Yeah, that's Area exactly secure. what these guys are going to get if they try to take this fight. Area secured. And there we go. Park this guy up outside the hotel front. Oh, we got grenades. I don't particularly care what we do, but. Not necessarily going to be doing too much to a Sherman. It'd be worse if it was an open top vehicle, but it isn't. Uh, we have all victory locations. We ask for a truce. And we just wait for something to happen. Right, now everything's secured, and we don't need to do anything else. Like, it's, <laughs> it's a silly battle. Um, but oh well. If we just take them out, then it's okay. Those German reinforcements are gone, I guess. Redeployed. Quickly and easily. Right, so you can probably fast forward a minute and a, a minute and a half on this one. Because um, uh, I don't think much is going to happen. Alright, you know what? Let's just blast them. Let's just stop blasting regular you know, random buildings. So they could be in some of them somewhere. 
can't find the criminal you're looking for, just blow up the whole city. Wherever the fuck he might be, nuke that place, you might get him. I know, we took some grenades, so... Ah, we hit something, there's uh, something in there. Just more experience with my tank here, I guess. So. Not that I really need it, but either way. Oh well, I mean, they kind of do, actually. I don't think the tank was of that high quality. They were like, kind of fresh recruit-ish combat training, maybe seen battle around, around that level. So not exactly battle hard more experience. Okay, we're gonna stop damaging the uh, French property now. My bad. You should stop too. There we go. Okay, less than 10 seconds and then uh, this enemy brigade is nothing anymore. If you can even call it a brigade with the, the amount of men they had. But yeah, there you go. So, uh, the grand campaign is four days remaining. Your progress is better than your historical counterparts. All this should be gain. It's just bullshit in the game made it so it isn't. And then I didn't know exactly what would happen if I did this and that. I thought there would be follow-up waves to come in and attack. We haven't seen those yet. I just moved my men further inland because some map descriptions kind of told me I should be doing that. So, okay, I did that rather than finish these guys that had, like, nothing left to fight me with, really. And now they're just kind of, you know, rummaging around in my... Well, behind my line, so I don't need to deal with them, which I will. I'm hoping we can get that second wave in soon. Would be nice. Could be night time next turn. I'm not sure. I'm feeling like that's coming up soon, but I mean, this is, it, yeah. Who do we get? We got one guy in this uh, heavy machine gun team here, and yeah, <laughs> that's that. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate if you uh, would consider leaving a like on it, maybe even subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I'm planning to put out a playthrough of pretty much all the close combat games out there. So, um, yeah, stay tuned if that's something you'd like to watch. But either way, uh, you can catch me in the next one. So, have a good one.